after all, it's seated entry. In the realm of, I guess, an emergency response call, it's it's very much kind of organized chaos. You know, we, we don't have the luxuries usually of setting up tents like this in a rescue situation. Um, we do get ready in the hall and respond on a truck to, you know, our given destination. And then uh, uh, try and mitigate the emergency from there to the best, the best of our abilities. In a training scenario, uh, it's a lot more controlled. Uh, we've got more time to set up a, a site like this and cut the hole. and and uh, a lot more time to prep our divers and, and make sure we're ready to go. Yeah. We check everything from, you know, to make sure a guy has a, a dive knife on and his fins make sure his zipper is closed on the suits, his ropes are connected, make sure his air tanks are on. Uh, we double check his pressures to make sure he's got enough pressure to complete the dive in the first place. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it, yeah. Tank strap secure, main and pony. Is that my harness on the back of my neck? No, that's your hose. The importance of having the suit that fits properly is, a big part of it is when you go under the ice. Um, we do have, uh, insulation that we wear in the form of a fleece liner that we wear underneath but uh, in addition to that we actually have an air button on the front of the suit that inflates our suit a little bit to add a little bit of extra insulation under the ice so it just kind of helps to keep us dry and and uh, add some insulation property. We've got two forms of communication that we're using right now we've got a line signal system with our between our divers and our tenders and then we've also got voice communications. In the event we do have an emergency situation, we have to have uh, all of our operational divers ready to respond at any given time. So um, being able to go under the ice and train, it adds to that level of comfort that we've got uh, entering that water, you know, either in a training or an emergency environment. And it also gives us an opportunity to practice um, our emergency, our own uh, emergency uh, procedures, I guess. And we do practice a lost diver scenario, so in the event we had a diver come off a line, um, we've got, you know, everybody else on the team knows how to respond in that situation to successfully recover that diver. Yeah. I was there.